a code red for humanity. Tonight, we begin with the wake-up call from the United Nations on what they call the unequivocal impact humans are having on our planet. Record-breaking heat and a lack of rainfall are threatening to paralyze the country's western half. 88% of it now in a drought raising fears of widespread wildfires. 24 million residents in the Pacific Northwest are under heat alerts, with temperatures expected to break June records, reaching 113 degrees in Washington and Oregon and 114 in Idaho. What's that putting his body through? Well, it's depriving the brain of oxygen, uh, potentially, and so it's potentially causing brain damage. We're in Key West right now, where the strongest wind gusts overnight were 62 miles an hour. As you see the surf kicking up behind me. So I, I, I think we really should be concerned about the future of the planet on the time scale of today's young people. So I don't think that in five or 10 years, we're uh, going to <laughs> humanity is going to be leaving the planet. Millions remain in a dangerous path and are now bracing for impact. Make sure the person is safe by clearing the area around them and rolling them on their side. Dozens of wildfires raging out of control in the West. Two million people under red flag warnings across five states. Gosh, we've had, what, three or four fires around here uh, in the last month, and it's kind of getting scary. But freedom means you don't have to choose just one adventure. You get both. Introducing the wildly civilized, all new, three row Jeep Grand Cherokee L. Without enough water in lakes and reservoirs, vegetation dries out and becomes ready fuel. The devastation in Western Europe this morning, catastrophic. Days of torrential rain turned into a surge of rushing water, crushing roadways, wiping out bridges and destroying homes. Everything is broken. Irreversible. UN Secretary General called the findings a code red for humanity, adding that it must be a death knell for coal and fossil fuels. Stunning scenes in a subway in central China. Passengers trapped inside flooded train cars, posting horrifying videos to social media. Nearly a year's worth of rain falling in just three days, what forecasters called a once in a thousand years event. The Dixie Fire's March of Flames, swallowing more than 400,000 acres, becoming the nation's largest active wildfire and third largest in California history. And it'll always be home. <laughs> Am I gonna move? No, just gotta fight through it. This is the largest reservoir in the United States, and it is at its lowest level. This beach did not used to be a beach. Just a few years ago, all of this would have been underwater. Look at the, one of the more visible satellite features as to just how big the eye is. Take a closer look here. Earlier today, the eye of this hurricane stretched out to nearly 70 miles across. It is a Category 1 hurricane at this time. It winds could gust up to 60 to 80 miles per hour. It topples trees. It topples power lines on that soaking wet ground. COVID is kicking humanity's ass and as a member as a team player on team human team humanity I take that personally the deadly category 4 storm packing 150 mile per hour sustained winds and dangerous storm surge across the strike zone the damage is massive it's the worst that I've seen in the 20 years that I've been in the parish and we've seen several hurricanes the sun rose over the Caldor fire's ever-expanding plume, destroying another 5,000 acres overnight, now threatening more than 30,000 homes with more than 50,000 residents under mandatory evacuation. The remnants of Hurricane Ida continuing to wreak havoc all the way up the northeast. A terrifying wall of water flooding a basement in New Jersey. Everyone survived, but in New York City, at least eight people have died in basement apartments. There are biblical images. Water not commuters rushed into New York subway station. Water pouring onto platforms and tracks, shutting down the system for hours. As the Northeast recovers from Ida, there will be much to contemplate. The prospect of more of this and how resilient our modern world needs to be as we face the consequences of climate change.